I've been getting a lot of questions lately about which version of the Cosmic Collection to buy, so I thought outlining the advantages and disadvantages of each into one video would be helpful for a lot of people. Taking a very basic look at both of them, you'll notice that the arcade version comes with 7 Darius games and the console or consumer edition comes with 9 games. The console edition is also $20 more expensive than the arcade version, and this could explain why. However, upon closer examination, we can see that this isn't quite the case. First of all, the arcade version comes with three different versions of the original Darius, all of which are really similar. It also comes with three different versions of Darius 2, just that the international version is titled differently as Sagaya. Now, Sagaya and Darius 2 are very different, however, the two versions of Sagaya are much more linear and feel much more like a ROM hack rather than a different game. Chances are you're going to find one of the three that you prefer and stick with that one. For me, I prefer the original Darius 2. This brings the total unique games in the arcade version to three. It's definitely fun for super fans to see the difference between each of the duplicate versions, but it just isn't fair to call them additional unique games. Now the console edition has some similar trickery as well. Once again we have three versions of Darius 2. Two for the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis, and one for the Sega Master System. The Mega Drive Genesis ports are almost exactly the same game, and the Master System version is a stripped down version of the Genesis version. It's cool to have, but overall it really is an inferior way to play Darius 2. Similar to the regional differences between the Genesis and Mega Drive versions of Darius 2, the SNES has two Darius games that have their Japanese and Western counterparts, those being Darius Twin and Darius Force, also known as Supernova in the West. We have Darius Alpha and Darius Plus for the PC Engine as well. Darius Alpha is essentially just a boss rush of Darius Plus, but with online leaderboards. It's nice to have, but I can hardly count it as its own unique game when you could just as easily play Darius Plus, which I personally find to be more enjoyable. Thus, our total unique game count for the Consumer Edition comes to four and a half, since I do think that the Master System version is fun enough to warrant a playthrough just to see how they pulled off putting Darius 2 on an 8-bit system. While this numerical information is certainly helpful, it may be more useful to know which games are actually worth playing. Now right off the bat I will say that playing the original arcade Darius is not as good as it could be on a home console. The triple screen cabinet was amazing in an arcade I'm sure, but it doesn't translate very well onto a television screen or worse yet the switch in handheld mode. Everything feels really small and making it full screen or pixel perfect come with their own issues. It's far from unplayable, but it really isn't ideal. It's also frustrating to get set back to a checkpoint every time you die, and the boss variety is severely lacking compared to other games. For these reasons, I think that Darius Plus on the console edition is the superior version. Since it was designed for a home console, the screen is set to a 4x3 aspect ratio and everything is easy to see. Also, every time that you die, you just continue from where you left off. No checkpoints to worry about, plus they added more bosses, so it incentivizes taking different routes and figuring out which path you want to take. I also find it to be a little easier overall than the arcade version, but it still gives a good challenge. It just feels better balanced in my opinion. Unfortunately, it is lacking the two-player functionality that the arcade version has. A lot of my issues with the arcade version of the original Darius also hold true for Darius 2. The screen issue isn't as bad since Darius 2 only had a two-screen monitor, but I find that the speed at which your ship moves this time is too slow. You move at the same speed as most enemy projectiles, making them really difficult to dodge if you get surrounded. And just like the arcade version of Darius, Darius 2 is lacking in the boss variety. It's better than its predecessor no doubt, but taking different routes doesn't feel as justified this time around. However, the Genesis version of Darius 2 actually fixes a lot of these issues. Boss orders are switched around and they even added some extra ones as well. Your ship moves much faster in relation to enemy projectiles, so dodging shots is much easier. Again, the balance feels better this time around as well. The screen doesn't get cluttered with garbage until much later in the game and it feels much more fair than the arcade version. In my opinion, this is the best way to play Darius 2. The Master System version is alright, like it's cute. It cuts out a lot of content and it feels like your firepower doesn't do as much damage as it does in the Genesis version. It's fun to see how it plays, but stick with the Genesis version. Again, both of these versions are single player only, which is really unfortunate. Now we get to the exclusives. The arcade version offers you Darius Gaiden, but the console versions offer you Darius Force and Darius Twin. For me though, there is absolutely no contest, Darius Gaiden is far and away the superior game. I've gotten more time out of Darius Gaiden than all of the other Darius games combined in this collection. In fact, I bought this entire collection just to be able to play Darius Gaiden on my Switch. 
I don't want to go into too much detail on why it's so great because I've already made a whole video detailing all of that, so I'll have a link to that if you want to see more. But the quick outline is that it added way more bosses, screen clearing bombs, amazing music, the graphics are spectacular, each zone feels very different from the others with only one or two exceptions. The bosses this time around are much more dynamic than before, and you can capture the mid-stage bosses to get them to fight on your side. Now, I prefer the Saturn version to the Switch version, but that's a discussion for another video, and the Switch version is pretty much exactly the same, I'm just really picky about Darius Gaiden. However, Darius Twin and Darius Force definitely aren't bad games by any means, and it really isn't fair to compare them to Darius Gaiden. We'll start with Darius Twin. Darius Twin is based off of Darius 2. What's weird is that the game has no continues whatsoever. You can, however, add extra stock in the options menu, but it is really weird because you don't lose any power-ups when you die. You stay at the exact same power level upon respawning. It makes for a bizarre game. I find it to be less difficult than other Darius games, but since there aren't any continues, I also find it to be less forgiving. You just have to not make any mistakes and then it's not too difficult. I don't really like this mechanic at all, to be honest. It also has fewer branching paths than most Darius games, and many of the times when you do get to pick different stages, they're pretty much just the same. The level design isn't anything spectacular either, the stages are honestly kinda boring. I recommend it if you want to get it for a real Super Nintendo, or if you already have the console edition of the Cosmic Collection and want to play a two-player game, but other than that, I really don't think it's the strongest entry in the Darius series. Unfortunately, I kind of feel the same way about Darius Force. It's got some cool mechanics like different ships with alternate upgrade patterns to them, and you can choose whether to focus your ship's fire on the front laser or your bombs or change your bombs into lasers, or split the power and use both, but it brings back the checkpoint system from the original Darius, and that really bugs me, especially since a lot of times enemies come from behind you. It just really doesn't feel very fair. It makes it really difficult to keep your momentum going if you get killed. The bosses are very different from other Darius games, but they just don't feel as inspired as they do in other games. And without a two-player co-op, I really don't think this game is as enjoyable as other games in the series, but I can definitely see why it's special. So in the end, it depends on what you're looking for. In my opinion, Darius Gaiden is worth the $40 alone. However, the console versions of Darius 1 and 2 are, in my opinion, the better versions, but you'd be paying extra for the console edition of the Cosmic Collection. Obviously, it depends what you're looking for, but I would recommend saving a little bit of money and digging your teeth into Darius Gaiden on the arcade version. I think you're going to get a lot more time out of that one game than you will on any of the other games on the console edition combined. But that's just my opinion. I'm Boffner, and I'll see you all next time!